All right, guys, apologies for the background noise. I'm actually driving to go pick up my kids, but I had to make this video because I came across this post on LinkedIn where Chris, formerly of Meta and Microsoft, is claiming that this resume format actually got him an interview at Meta. It's nothing to do with the five years of experience you had at Microsoft prior that probably looked pretty attractive to Meta. See, the problem is with this advice is if that Microsoft experience was switched out with let's say a sandwich artist job at Subway, no matter how nicely and formatted the resume is, it's not getting in front of the right people. You should focus more on the content of what's on your resume, telling the story of how the skills that you've got, how the projects you've completed, line up with the jobs that you're applying for. A formatted resume may help the recruiter read it for three seconds, but the recruiter is gonna be focusing on what you've done the last five years, what your current job is, what projects you've completed, and whether or not you're a fit for the position, not on how nicely formatted the resume is. The other thing you'll notice on this resume is he's got a nice picture of himself. I do not advise throwing a picture of yourself on a resume. Just stick to the basics, use a basic format for the resume, and really focus on the story your resume tells over how pretty it looks. Because I promise you, recruiters are pretty quick. We don't care about design. We care about the content that's on the resume. So when you're taking advice from people on LinkedIn, just look at what they do. I really like this Chris guy. He seems like a good guy. It seems like a lot of people think that this is gonna help them. The only issue is I don't see HR or recruiting or really anything that would qualify him to give advice on resumes. So just be careful of who you take advice from. Warning you, you can go down a lot of rabbit holes with people that really don't know what they're talking about. Have a great day, guys.